I'm Natalie Delavan with this week's World News. On Tuesday, March 16th, Israeli experts announced the discovery of more Dead Sea Scroll fragments. These fragments hold the writings of ancient biblical texts believed to be derived from over 1,900 years ago. Archaeologists presume this text was hidden in a desert cave during a Jewish revolt against Rome. In other news, a volcano in Iceland erupted, leaving thousands stunned by its sights. Bystanders report the eruption was breathtaking and exhibited colors of deep oranges. Scientists observing the eruption at the foot of the volcano were filmed cooking sausages on the lava as they studied. Icelanders have been preparing for the eruption for several weeks. In celebration of thousands being vaccinated each day, Krispy Kreme is giving out free donuts for the rest of 2021 to those who present their vaccination card. Anyone who shows proof on vaccination on Monday will be rewarded with a free glazed donut. In recent U.S. news, the Supreme Court of the United States agreed to take up the death sentence case for Boston Marathon bomber Zolkar Sarnov. Although Zolkar Sarnov was found guilty, his sentence was thrown out by lower courts due to issues with jurors, pre-trial exposure to the case. The Supreme Court is slated to hear arguments in October. On Friday, March 19th, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention updated its guidance for schools across the nation. The CDC now recommends with universal masking, students should maintain a distance of at least three feet in classroom settings. This new guidance should allow schools across the United States to open full-time for in-person learning. In other news, this past Monday, another tragedy struck in Boulder, Colorado. The gunman, now identified as Syrian native Ahmad al Ali Alyssa, killed 10 people at the King Supers grocery store. Among the victims, Officer Eric Talley, the father of seven, and the first to arrive on the scene. Hi, I'm Morgan Farinoff, here with your local news. The Harrisburg mayor election has gotten so intense that opponents are bringing one candidate, former city councilman Otto Banks, to Dauphin County Court on Tuesday, March 23rd. The issue is whether Banks fulfilled the Harrisburg mayoral requirement of living in the city for at least one year. Opponents argue that though Banks has listed Harrisburg at his, as his address since September 2020, he actually resides in Swatara Township. The hearing could play a significant role in the Democratic primary in May. Banks hopes voters will see past his opponents' attempts to use the legal system to hurt what he says matters most, the community's success. Also in the political world, Pennsylvania Republican State Senator and Cedar Cliff alumni Mike Reagan was hospitalized after a Sunday morning motorcycle accident in North York County. The cause of the accident and specific details on Reagan's condition have yet to be released. We do know he has suffered serious leg injuries and that he was wearing a helmet at the time. I'm Tristan Mutherall with this week's music segment. Auditions for the spring play are today, March 26th at 3 p.m. in the auditorium. If two charming spinster sisters running a boarding house for a lonely elderly gentleman sounds interesting to you, you should consider trying out for Arsenic and Old Lace. Students are asked to prepare an, a memorized one-minute comedic monologue for the audition. Hi, I'm Andrew Vinyaga in This Week on Pop Culture. Billie Eilish revealed her platinum blonde hair with a TikTok and that her black hair with neon green roots was a wig all along. Recent news from Ryan Murphy has brought joy to American Horror Story fans. Last Friday, Ryan revealed the title of the 10th season of American Horror Story, Double Feature. Fans have theorized that this season will be about mermaids and aliens. Last Friday, Disney premiered Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Disney reports that this has become the biggest streaming weekend, surpassing WandaVision and The Mandalorian. I'm Juliana Alvelo davies and this is your Science Briefing. These are the national COVID numbers this week as of Wednesday, March 24th. As rates of COVID-19 infections decrease in the Americas and Africa, regions such as Europe, Southeast Asia, the Eastern Mediterranean, and Western Pacific have all experienced increases for the fifth consecutive week. Despite this, the UK has decided to lift its lockdown on March 29th, but with restrictions such as a $7,000 fine if citizens travel outside of the country. Finally, almost one-fourth of people in the United States have received at least one dose of the COVID vaccine, according to the CDC. As always, wear a mask, wash your hands, and stay healthy. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, please follow our socials at the Cedar Cliff Post on Instagram and at cc underscore post on Twitter. Stay classy, Cedar Cliff. <laughs>